Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn to Speak with Mahesh. Today we will see how to articulate a resume better using chat GPT and BAT. So before we proceed further, I just wanted to have a quick disclaimer. This is not to generate a fake resume. So this is for people who have worked on Google Cloud, but they are not able to articulate the resume better. So uh, once you articulate your resume, definitely you will get more calls, right? That's for such people. So uh, uh, it's not for generating some fake resume. So just wanted to make it very, very clear. So with that, as usual, let me give a quick shout out. So I'm, I've already started my customized professional cloud architect training. So on 3rd of June, if you're interested, there are a few more slots available. If you're interested, do let me know on the similar lines. Uh, professional uh, the customized training in uh, professional data engineer is also being started so from 3rd of june so if you are interested do let me know uh, happy to share more details on it uh, also there were a few uh, requests for uh, starting some um, quick lecture sessions like it's not something like four hours uh, so not on weekend so planning to do something on the sort uh, with associate cloud engineer so details are mentioned on the slide if you are interested you can uh, reach out to me or if you want to directly speak to me or uh, send something via whatsapp or email so you can uh, look into this contact details that is something which you can also do uh, also i have created a small survey so i'll put the survey link in the description if you are interested in a specific course uh, uh, primarily on weekdays uh, so there are a few options which i have enabled like a cloud architect three uh, slots similarly data engineering depending on what is the request if it's more say for example if it's like 4 pm to 6 pm is there's a a uh, little demand many people are there i may start a course on that also so if you're interested uh, fill in the form it's a very simple form which captures your email uh, what's your preferred stuff and what would be your plan for the payment option so with that let's go and articulate our resume better for a better job offering so let's get started all right, we are in the chat GDP, uh, chat GPT page and I also have opened uh, the bar. So let's try to use both, right? Uh, instead of comparing this is better, that is better. Let's use both and uh, leverage it to our fullest potential. So uh, in the last video also I had mentioned like the more verbose you are, better is what I had seen personally. The responses was better. So I have a small uh, text which I have copied here. I have six years experience in Google Cloud. I'm very precise here. I have obtained Cloud Architect and Data Engineer certification. Please help articulate resume content as uh, I am uh, looking for a job change. So uh, the system would get a better understanding. Let's see what it gives as a response. So by the time this generates uh, the stuff, let's go to but and do the same thing and see what it shows so let's go back and see the stuff so <clears throat> these things are standard stuff so objective these things are the one which i would like to really because we would have worked extensively on a project but the only part is we are not able to articulate it better so you can get those snippets here some good uh jargons or some good words right say for example if i were to say cloud uh, cloud is going to help us uh, fast uh, fail fast right if you were to have a system built if it's on on premise everything you build everything later you feel it is not working but if it's cloud we'll be able to fail fast so that we can revert uh, recover from that and do something better so that fail fast was a, a good word uh, which you can coin right so those kind of stuffs is what I wanted to basically look from this uh, kind of uh, stuffs so it says result driven highly skilled professional these are some cool words right so with six years of experience holding yeah beautiful uh, seeking a challenging role uh, in a dynamic organization where beautiful right so the objective is good the professional summary dedicated and uh, detailed oriented cloud architect beautiful words with a prone track record of designing implementing managing a robust uh, google cloud solution proficient in uh, 
this is a very good line i would say because a cloud architect is the one who's going to do this a proficient in analyzing the business requirement and translating it because as a professional set as a professional cloud architect and data engineer you would be interacting with the business so you understand the business requirement it has to be translated into technicalities so like what could be the component should be used right so what are the series of components which has to be used that's going to be a good point demonstrate the ability to lead cross functional team all those things which you can definitely add so skills designing data engineering analysis these are some really good stuff certifications it's really good it has put that two certifications so that's a good one i would say and one small point which i just wanted to highlight it is uh, um, to be very frank there are good number of products in google cloud so it's going to be very few people who would have uh, mastered all the products right from infrastructure to networking to data engineering to uh, say for example devops right so please never ever put uh, that i know all the google cloud products don't put that that's going to be uh, simply a, a negative statement or a false alarm they're saying that no the, the it does not look appropriate if you have been expert in some specific stuff make sure that i'll also show a small demo uh, or a small uh, demo uh, or not demo so a uh, walk over on using the chat gpt how you can do something very specific to a product next few minutes we'll see that so this looks good um this part is more towards data engineering if i'm not wrong so design cloud solution addressing business needs okay so collaborate yeah the same stuff's put in a different style so here if you see this is what i wanted to say so i have designed a data pipeline for data ingestion uh, using bigquery data flow pubs uh, now uh, you can add something extra so i'm not saying that you should completely rely on chat gpt on bart so here you can be little more specific that it was a batch processing why looking at this flow it shows that it is basic okay so not batch processing sorry it's a stream processing so at least they can i would have added that word somewhere right because pub sub means it's going to be definitely a stream processing so add that part uh, maybe data flow maybe in using uh, data flow if you wanted to also add because it's a managed version of your apache beam so you can also add that part so this is another cool feature where you are also talking about iam now if you see this section they're not talking about i know kubernetes i know data google cloud storage bucket i know uh, say for example uh, cloud functions they're very specific what on that product because a project will not be using all the products right so that's very simple so make something like that that's going to be a good one so and that's what they mentioned uh, tailor it so but these are some good words which will help you to basically do certain stuffs better created a technical documentation and delivered training session or uh, to educate internal team so that also shows that you have a little training knowledge which you can which can help definitely because some kind of onboarding session you can do it these are really word, good words so now coming to bart so sure that's what it shows the standard stuff so experience in cloud architect with 6 years prune uh, ability good so something very similar what we saw in chat uh, chat gpt so the skills are really good here so programming stuff um uh, i'm not sure whether people still add communication problem solving or teamwork so these are standard so if you want you can add it um so it shows as if like you are working in google so that's a beauty so uh um it's it's more of bullet points is what they have given so much better than but chat gpt's response was good now coming back to the next one so uh, as a small tip which i mentioned uh, don't mention that i know every product in google cloud so worked on all google cloud products no that does not going to fly so then how do i do it so say for example if you are from an infrastructure background more from kubernetes the way you can do is articulate a resume content for a person with 6 years experience in kubernetes so when you do this, this most of the content is going to be completely on kubernetes so you may have done good number of stuffs on kubernetes but you are not able to articulate this is going to give you that option so if i go here highly skilled and uh, result oriented professional with six experience six years experience in gke uh, seeking now uh, challenging roles all those things everywhere gke is mentioned so this is a beautiful one dedicated and uh, detailed oriented kubernetes engine with prune track record 
track record of successfully designing, implementing and managing containerized solutions using GKE. So, and whenever you mention GKE, definitely microservices, automation, those things, microservices is like a mandatory keyword, which I would say, which has to be there. So here, look, let's look at the skills. This is a beautiful one, right? In that project, what are the stuffs which you have done? GKE, uh, okay, this GKE containerization, I'm not sure whether this is required you take a call microservice definitely uh, ci cd so how these terraform uh, sorry this infra this gk is provision using terraform uh, and once everything is then you are going to do monitoring and logging so whether it's going to be using uh, the open source products are using cloud monitoring you can mention it linux administration definitely is going to come into picture so uh, these two things if you want you can add it or ignore it so the next one again on gke slightly modified so this is something which you can get uh, let's see what does uh, bart give us there so i saw something was little good there so by the time it comes up uh, yeah it has come up uh, something very similar uh, is what we see it uh, i'm looking for some good words where i can also highlight that yeah yeah, this is something good, right? Uh, so if you have created some blog posts, all those things, add that. Now we saw something from the infrastructure. So if it is a, a kind of a junior person who's looking, who's having uh, three years experience, primarily in BigQuery. So I'm not considering the IT experience only on BigQuery as a data engineer, what is going to be the stuff. So let's look at this, what it's going to articulate. So so here uh, it's completely towards BigQuery, SQL, uh, the query optimization, uh, data warehouse modeling, uh, data quality assurance. You can definitely use good number of open source products like uh, uh, great expectation, those kind of stuffs you can add it. Uh, visualization, definitely using uh, Tableau Looker or Data Studio, you can add it. So you get that points, what needs to be added. And definitely when you are mentioning uh, BigQuery, uh, meaning you are primarily looking as a data engineer, Python is a must. Uh, uh, so you better mention what's your skill set with Python. So let's see what it shows in BART here. So something similar is what I would expect. Uh, if something good, now the only reason for comparing it is uh, if you get something better, add that, that's it. So led a team of data engineering with okay this is something uh, which you can add uh, presented new cell yeah, this is also a good choice right and one more thing uh, as a small suggestion which i would say is uh, whenever you have been interviewed right um, definitely they would like to see how up to date you are right it's always good look into the release notes so look into the release notes uh, uh, have something you it's not that you may now use it because in an organization it's going to be very difficult to use a new feature the moment it is released right it's going to take some time but knowing that it's going to help you so so this is where uh, let's see a small stuff so uh, latest you can go to the release page so but since we are using the chat gpt i thought let's use it uh, latest release notes on bigquery uh, my guess is it's not going to show any result chat gpt because chat gpt as per the details which we have been discussing 2021 after that it does not have any information that's what many people say so let's see what it shows as a response uh, yeah, that's what it shows September 2021. So it does not have much information, but this is where BART really rocks. Uh, so it gets you the up to date information. Let's see what it shows. Um, so uh, does it give us any? OK, here also it does not show that. Let me try one more time. Uh, release notes on BigQuery uh, features. If it does not show, we have always have the option of going into release notes, but I've just wanted to see if they can articulate it here a little better. Okay, it's not there. So then it's better to go to uh, release notes. Uh, look into some of those stuff. So that will add a value. So I'm just taking BigQuery as an example here. So look into it. For example, primary key concept is slowly coming in so you can thing you can start mentioning this because in the interview they may say can you create a primary key uh, but uh, recently they had added uh, this feature so 
if I just go look for that something like the one which I'm showing here primary key and foreign key table constraints are now available in preview you can just mention that so that's going to definitely add value so the the interviewer will know okay the person is also having up-to-date knowledge so uh, con continuously keeping like continuously getting updated with the new information so that's a video which I wanted to share today so how you can articulate your resume better so get those keywords some good bullet points which can be added which can definitely be a value add in your resume so hope you like the video uh, so in the end card you will definitely see a small survey link if you want you can register for what the the courses which I'm offering so if you are interested uh, register it so thank you for watching